All right, so I just finished another 3D model that I'm going to release into the public domain. This is a garden hose compatible quick connect. That's a US garden hose. Uh, now most people will be familiar with the conventional quick connect interfaces, couplings. Uh, one side's a male, the other's female. They restrict uh, water flow by about 75%. And uh, they're kind of a pain in the ass. So this design is created to solve all those problems. I'll uh, just give a quick rundown of how it works. But um, note that the bore size is 90% uh, of... Uh, standard garden hose so it's uh you almost don't lose any um uh water throughput which is nice this uh little notch in here these little indentations are designed for standard um poly washers that you can get at any hardware store you need to get two washers and put one in each side of each coupling these are um hermaphroditic non-sexual couplings so there's only one part and it works for both uh, sides <coughs> um, I made two different versions this one is designed to fit into a standard uh, gauge garden hose where you just chop off the um, standard link and shove this into the hose and then use a, a hose clamp to uh, create a union there and then this one has a um, standard US garden hose thread um, male <coughs> coupling on it so that you can screw in your like uh, sprayers or whatever and then just quick connect those to your hose using this design uh, I'm releasing this completely into the public domain I'll put the 3D models on my website in the near future so you can download them and uh, use them at your discretion. Um, this was a real pain in the ass. I just wanted to uh, sort of honorable mention about this uh, these threads. I actually ended up having to use calipers and some other information to generate these because Jesus fucking Christ, you cannot find the specifications for a standard garden hose thread like anywhere on the internet. Like, Wikipedia has like the most basic information 11.5 threads per square inch. It's just like absurd. So, um, literally, I spent like six hours trying to track down the technical specifications for a garden hose thread, and this is actually a modified version of a model that I got off of um, uh, Thingverse uh, that was actually really really poor quality that I had to clean up quite a bit to get it to this optimized form like I try to really optimize the geometry of all my models for um, 3d printing and uh, this one's no exception I spent a long time cleaning up these threads and I think they're pretty much perfect um, I haven't actually tested th this out yet, but um, definitely feel free to download that if you're working with any kind of garden hose thread type attachments and you need the threads for that because everything else on the internet that I found is garbage. Like I must have downloaded 50 different models and they were just all so sloppy and horrible topology, etc. So, okay, how does this work? Uh, I'm just going to give a quick demonstration here so um, standard uh, coupling system in a sense the uh, one coupling goes down into the other the uh, prongs slide down into these grooves um, because of the way the uh, because of the way that these are beveled, they are like self-sinking, so they uh, very easily are guided directly down into these grooves. 
and uh, because the uh, washers need to form a watertight seal when you uh, slide this down in here it would take a bit of pressure to uh, push those two washers together um, but you don't actually have to press them in very far because of this bevel here once again uh, leveraging the mechanical force to make the operation much easier so even if you were just to push it in like that far uh, with a, quite a, a bit of play it's still because of that bevel it's gonna twist nice and easy <coughs> so let me just do a little quick twisting simulation here if I can get this measure, measuring tape to behave okay All right, so here's the the sort of beauty of this design, I think. If I can actually get this to operate right. It only needs to go 15 degrees. Um in either direction, right or left. Although that's saying 30 degrees, so maybe it's 30. <laughs> I, I spent so much time on this that uh, I forgot a few of the numbers, but uh, yeah, 30 degrees in either direction. The mechanical force of the 12-sided um, uh, polygon, of which this is an edge right here, uh, that actually causes these prongs to push out slightly as you're turning it so that when it slides around this corner here and uh, this uh, back side of this prong here rests up flat against this square right here <coughs> it locks firmly into place and then uh, these prongs here slide inside and behind uh, the other prongs also causing sort of like a scissor a zipper action so you've got um, basically two uh, links in three different locations for a total of six connections all the way around this nice and solid um, connection uh, I have dyslexia so really my favorite part of this design is that it's bi-directional as well as being hermaphroditic so you can turn it right or left it doesn't matter it will lock into place um, is there anything else here let's let's see if I can actually get that angle down I'll do this a little more accurately this time okay so yeah it looks like 30 degrees <coughs> So, yeah, anyway, I stayed up all night working on this thing, and uh, I'm pretty pleased with the results. I I did a quick uh, quote with Shapeways and iMaterialize, and it's, it's going to cost like 50 bucks to print, so I think I'm just going to wait until I get a 3D printer before I actually print one out. But if you have a 3D printer, be my guest. Um, oh, yeah, another feature this triangular sort of cam like shape uh, most people don't know this but ergonomically that's actually the absolute best configuration for a um, like a faucet handle like there's so many different designs literally thousands of faucet designs that are supposed to increase leverage and grip for the human hand and so forth but the triangle is the best if you actually cup your hand and look into it you'll see that it forms a triangle and this is actually designed to fit in your hand so it's much easier to lock and twist and anyway so uh, yeah I do lots of gardening and I hate quick connects like the conventional ones and uh, so that's why I made this anyhow uh, thanks for watching <laughs>